Decided to enter trip in the all age instead of saving it for the uh, amateur. Um, just seems to work out a little bit better. Plus, I get to see my dog. I get to leave later on this afternoon, so he's gonna run in the second race today. That'll be great. This one too. It's not very big, but yeah. Early morning. At least it's cool right now. saw some video of trip at the NGSPA Greater Prairie Chicken Championship of not too very good footage so we I gotta be honest we exceptionally disappointed in how trip ran it, it, it just so out of character for him and also to hear it on the on the back of what he did in the, the previous stake. So both in the amateur shooting dog and the open shooting dog, he was not the dog that all of us are used to. So after you know talking to Josh about what he's seen and that it was, again, it was out of character. And of course, going through our own analysis of what may be wrong with the dog, we decided to um, send him to Josh's vet there in, in Lexington. Nebraska. And, uh, Dr. Amy did a great job. She, you know, did some preliminary tests and all, and, and it's her conclusion that that Trip has a heart murmur. Um, but she said that she may see some other stuff going on, but it was kind of um, out of what she was used to seeing. So she suggested that we, of course, take him to our vet, and that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, Trip and I are. Um, driving to our vet. Uh, we've been our vet for 25 years. Uh, Dr. Lori, who is the small animal vet, and her husband, Dr. Mike, who's a large animal vet, are of the North Denver Animal Clinic. Uh, so they both went and graduated from Colorado State University's veterinary school. So they're very, very good at what they do. So we're looking forward to, to her um, extended diagnosis as to what may be wrong it, it, it's kind of interesting. I, he doesn't show any signs other than, um, you know, he just doesn't have that get up and go. And the the more I talk to folks, it's kind of interesting. Um, there's a lot of competitive dogs out there who have heart murmurs and don't seem to be affected by it at, at all. So we're, we're kind of um, intrigued with that. But in the same respect, we know something's going on. So uh, hopefully it's something much more manageable uh, and something that we can take care of and, and Tripp can get back to doing what he does best and, and what he loves to do, uh, actually. So, so that's what we're looking for there. So we're on our way to North Denver Animal Clinic and uh, we'll give you a report and let you know what, uh, what they say.
Dr. Lori. No. Good, you? We'll see. Wow. Very interesting exam. So, uh, basically the long and the short of it is we're not exactly sure what the issue is, but uh, Dr. Lori is pretty, very, very confident that it is not a heart murmur. So, hooray. <laughs> Absolutely. She says he has an enlarged prostate, so there is an infection issue and that, that he definitely has a, uh, um, a fever, uh, 103.6, I think. Uh, so that's, that's high. Um, so there is something going on. We're not entirely sure what it is, but she's doing some more analysis. We'll get him on some antibiotics, maybe some steroids, uh, whatever she suggests, and uh, we'll check him out. So, good news. Hot trap. Oh yeah. All right. We'll uh, keep you informed on the next trials and tribulations of trip of how his next, I think it's gonna be in a little over a week, we'll have another exam. And uh, we'll let you know how that goes, see how he's progressing and see where things go from here. All right, here we go. Thank you.